Hello. Today we are tasting one of my favourite wines in the whole world, so I'm very excited about this. We're tasting a rosé from a producer called Casso Mayo, who are based in Banyols down in southern France, right on the border of Spain, literally. When you stand in the very, very steep terraced vineyards just above this really pretty little Mediterranean port, and you look out, what you can see is, is Spain. Um, this is a hot place, and it's primarily famous for making fortified sweet red wine, a kind of French version of port, although they're much, because they're made of different grape varieties and principally Grenache, they're kind of much softer than ports. We're not tasting anything like that though, we're tasting a wine made by one of our favourite winemakers, a gentleman called Alan Castex, which um, is actually his rosé. Green and blue are the only people in the UK who sell this, so we're very, very proud of that. Um, he doesn't make very much, and actually between us and his lovely wife, Gislaine, who, who drinks a lot of it, I think we probably take care of, of almost everything he makes. Um, if you look at the bottle, if you are wise and you decide to buy some, and you look at the bottle, you'll see that it doesn't say Banyols anywhere at all. Right down at the bottom of the label, it says Van de Taal, uh, which of course, historically, would have been the lowest possible um, classification that you could have on the label of a bottle of wine. The reason that Monsieur Castex's extraordinary rosé, and this is extraordinary rosé, it's amazingly good, um, doesn't qualify for any higher status, is that this wine doesn't taste like anything else being made in Van in, in Banyols, which is a good thing. Um, they do make plenty of, of, of nice wine in Banyols as well, but nothing quite as special as this. And so because he's adopted some very different winemaking techniques, of which more later, and he has ended up with this supposed anomaly, he doesn't qualify for higher status. But to my mind, that just really proves how completely ridiculous all of this classification is. Because this is a better wine than a lot that will be considered to be some of the best and have the Bagnol name proudly displayed on the label. Back to this wine. So it's a rosé made from Mouvedge, which is of course a really meaty, powerful grape variety, red grape variety, quite savoury in, in um, flavour. Uh, Grenache Gris and Grenache Noir. So Grenache Noir is the very spicy grape used to make the fortified wine in Banyols, and then Grenache Gris is a very close cousin, a kind of pinky grey grape variety which is, is used to make white wine or a very very pale tinged kind of rosé wine more often than not. Both Grenache Gris and Noir are actually quite aromatic grape varieties. Think of kind of orange peel and again blossom flavours. Mouvedge is much more tobacco, smoke, prunes sometimes. Um, but together, what you get is a rosé that has substance. It's, it's not something that you, you knock back without thinking about it. You absolutely know all about it when you're drinking this, but in the best possible way. Alan Castex is completely biodynamic in the vineyard. Him and his wife, Gislaine, do all the work themselves by hand, back-breaking work, I have to say. At least they're in a very, very beautiful place, but it's not particularly glamorous. And then in the winery, he is famous for being one of the most uncompromising of the natural winemakers in France. He does not interfere at all. There's no sulfur added, there's no fining, no filtration, nothing. And just looking at the glass, you can see that it's kind of cloudy. But that means that all the chunks are left in, and you get even better flavour. So on the nose, all the aromatics are coming through. A kind of, again, a kind of blossom, but a lot of sweet spice, cinnamon and cloves, orange peel. Mm. Let's just stop filming and, and drink wine. Um, this is absolutely beautiful wine. It's 
rosé in colour only. In character, this is proper, serious, delicious wine that is so complex. It is the kind of wine that you can spend an evening drinking, with, with the drinking of the wine being the main point of the evening and the food and everything else being secondary. Um, fruity flavours, sweet red fruit, but lots of the smoke and tobacco from the veg and then the sweet spice from the both Grenache. Absolutely delicious, very versatile with food actually. I've had this with a whole range of fruit, everything from from um, fish to quite rich chicken dishes and it's worked brilliantly with everything. Gislen, Alan's wife, and I share a passion for rice and when we were there she actually served this with the risotto with mushrooms that worked perfectly as well. So don't miss a single opportunity to buy this wine while we still have it in stock over the summer. And a final word, it's not a cheap rosé, but it is, it's a pretty special rosé. It's as handmade as it can possibly get, and it is completely natural. So no nasty hangover in the morning.